What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today this video is going to be my complete guide on how to kill Axis, the Archon Prime, the final boss in the Wrath of the Machine raid. So this of course is the very last encounter when he gains his spider legs, I'm going to go through exactly what he needs to do, try and explain it as best as I can, with gameplay of course of me and my clan peasant guard defeating it. Also keep an eye out for more videos on my channel very soon I'll have complete guides on all the other bosses and encounters and we'll also take a look at my raid loot that I've picked up. So as an encounter, light level is really not an issue here. As long as you're above around 365, you're pretty much good. But obviously being high, it does make life a lot easier. The main thing about this encounter is communicating with your team, also movement and thinking on your feet. Those are the three main elements I'd say. It's definitely the most communication dependent raid I've ever seen in Destiny. There's also a lot of room for error in here. It's absolutely not even a big deal if like two people die. Like I said, if you think on your feet and if you're pragmatic, you can easily overcome the death, no problem. So firstly, you want to split your group into two people on the left, right and middle of the room. You need to simply kill the shanks that spawn while watching out for the Siva swarms that he shoots. If he shoots them, always just back up. Don't let them trap you and have you in with the shanks. Just back up if you need to. Now three of you are going to be randomly given an empowered buff and this is where communication comes in. You need to distribute these people evenly, one on the left, right and middle. You need to quickly communicate who is going to switch. You need to have one on the left, right and middle that are each empowered and one that is not empowered. So a Scorch, Shock and Null Captain to avoid Solar and Arc Captain are each going to spawn in the left right middle of the room. So for each Captain, the two of you, one with and without the buff, need to go and kill that Captain. And the person without the buff has to pick up their cannon and it has to beat the person without. I'd recommend an exotic sword like a Raze Lighter is really amazing. Also rockets and sleeper works too. But the person without the empowered buff needs to grab that cannon. So the way we did it is that the three people with the cannons go and find the servitor that corresponds to that element. So Void, Solar or Arc. Kill the servitors with the cannon of course by holding it down. You need to charge your shot by holding the trigger. You can't normally shoot it. And the servitors when they're killed will drop Siva charges. These are obviously the little orbs you throw, you probably used them by now. And our strategy was the three empowered people stay in their areas and throw the charge when they drop from the servitor so they don't move. The normal people with their cannons, they move around freely and go find their servitor. The empowered people just wait around in their area left, right or middle and wait around killing ads while their orb drops. And this is where you need to think on your feet. If someone dies, you need to communicate who is died. You need to make sure someone else can shoot their servitor or pick up their orb as well and fill their role. You can easily multitask and do multiple jobs. So if someone dies, like I said, it's not a big deal at all. You should make sure you communicate and figure out who's going to do what and pick up for the person that has died. So the empowered people need to pick up that orb that drops me servitor and throw it directly at Axis to take down a third of his shield. When all three people do that, his shield will go fully down. Now this is the most difficult part of the encounter because it relies on so much communication and it's really important. This time you need to make sure there is still an empowered person on the middle, left and right. They have to be distributed. Axis is going to teleport in one of those locations where only an empowered person can dunk on him to start a damage phase. And this is where you all shoot him, but only primaries don't use tethers or go all out. The empowered buff is going to shift randomly around the people. So again, communication is key. Make sure someone is in left, right and middle to dunk on him when he teleports after this mini damage phase. So in terms of places he can teleport, he can go left or right. But there's two places in the middle. So the middle person has an extra hard because there's a front middle and also a back middle. So make sure there's a really mobile and fast person in the middle so they can get either the front or back one. So after this mini damage phase, he's going to teleport somewhere else. And like I said, make sure an empowered person is everywhere, ready to dunk him on the left, right and both middle spots. You don't have very long to do it, so you need to be very quick. And then you do another slightly longer damage phase. And again, use primaries, maybe some snipes, but save the serious stuff. And then he's going to teleport somewhere else when the empowered person dunks on him. This is the biggest and final damage phase. He stays there for a while, the longest he's ever been. And this is when you go all out with tethers, a Viking funeral, weapons of light bubbles, heavy snipers, the whole lot. You need to do a quarter or a fifth of damage to him. And this is where you do the most possible. So once you're done with that damage phase, the three of them, you're done. He's going to go back up top and generate some Siva Mites, which is basically a massive blast that kills everything in the room. To avoid this, all six of you simply go and stand on one of the four pillars at the back of the room, which will protect you completely. If one of you doesn't make it, don't worry at all. Some of us missed the jump as well so many times, but it means nothing. You've got plenty of time to revive them before they're needed. And after the blast, the pillar is going to go down and disappear. And you repeat this process and you go around, kill the shanks again, revive someone that might have died if they missed the jump. And you repeat it until he's dead. Obviously, you only have four of these pillars, so that as you're in rage timer, you need to kill him within those four pillars, or else you won't have anywhere else to stand during the blast. So that is how you make sure you're doing it in time. So once you repeat the process, it's important to note when you finally kill him, you do not deplete all of his health by you get into like 5% health, as you can see right here. He is one last stand at the top of the platform, just like Oryx did. But unlike Oryx, he still will have a bit of health left. So be ready for him to make that last stand on that 5% or so amount of health. And he's going to try to do another blast and that's when you need to pile all the damage on him and finish him off completely and that's where you kill him. 
So there you have it. Just learn one phase and then you're set and just repeat it. Nothing changes. It's the same every time. The main thing you need to master, like I said, is communication of who is empowered and eventually you'll get to the point where it comes natural. So that is my complete guide on how to defeat Axis. Hopefully the guide helped you. I tried to make it as simple and easy to understand as possible, but also including all the detail you need to know. If you found the video helpful, a like rating on the video would be much appreciated. And of course, comment down below if you've beaten the raid yet or how you're getting on. I'd be interested to see how many of you guys have completed it. And if this guide has helped, make sure you are subscribed because I've got a bunch more videos coming up very shortly that you don't want to miss. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.